Hey guys, it's Squad Girl Gaming and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably see from the background, it's another Splatfest. It's my second one. Today it's the Gherkin versus the Gherkow. I think this is a European only one um, and I'm super excited to play it. Um, so yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so we've had that little news intro, now let's get started. As you can probably see from my t-shirt and my hair colour, I'm Team Gherkin. I'm not a child, so I like gherkins on my burger. Gherkins, pickles, whatever you call them. Anyway, we're going to fight for the rightful side, because the last time I played, um, I was Team Comedy. And we lost, and I couldn't believe it, because I thought we did really well, but, you know, maybe Team Action. Oh no, I was Team Action, sorry. Maybe Team Comedy was better, but yeah. We're gonna go for Team Gherkin, the right side, and we're gonna fight for it. So, I don't think... Now, I think I'm gonna stick with the weapon I've got right now. If we have a little look, I think that weapon is the original one. It is. It's the Splattershot Junior. I've been playing it a little bit. It's been quite good, actually. Um, I really want to get the roller, but I've actually... As you can see from my videos, I've been playing Salmon Run instead, and that doesn't affect your normal level, I think. Whereas, you know, if you play the Turf War, obviously that affects your level, and it can get you, you know, new weapons, new gear and stuff. So I'm still with the original weapon, but I'm sure I can do well with it. Anyway, we're going to sign into this. Hopefully it'll be a little bit quicker than it was last time. Last time it took forever to get two teams together, but it won't affect you guys. I'll edit it out if there's any issues like that. Oh, and it looks so cool. I love that we can see the artwork about, like I've seen so many Pickle Rick things. I've actually never watched um, Rick and Morty. I've heard it's very good, but I've just, I don't know, like, I've never really got to the like point that I've been interested in it. Like, there's a lot of like new shows like I've started recently, like I started that Netflix one, Altered Carbon, that you should really watch. It's actually just really, really similar to, um, to Blade Runner. Like, that's like, it's obviously it's not the same story and stuff, but it's very like, oh, what is that? Oh, someone's on it, okay. Um, but, you know, it's got a lot of the same, uh, I don't know, like, what do you call it again? Like, a lot of the same atmosphere, I guess. Um, like, it's a very, you know, oh, oh, oh no, okay. I need to get a more powerful weapon. I don't recognise that one though. Maybe this weapon's for more... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, paint the base, paint the base. Maybe this weapon's for more kind of paint and stuff rather than, you know, attack or defence. It doesn't sound really like a great weapon, does it? I can hopefully just get a bit in paint because it seems that those things up there oh my god there's one yeah all right so it seems you fire ink into it and then you become part of it and that is like wrecking 
Ah! Oh well, I tried. It seems that if you hit it, that kills the person who's controlling it. So hopefully we can do that. Maybe we can try the one that we've got. Oh, someone's got it. <laughs> That's probably what this whole game's gonna be like. Oh, maybe we can try it. Oh, nope, someone's got it. I don't know, it's difficult how to tell how we're doing. I mean, what do you guys think? Like, the problem is there's lots of like, like patches and stuff of, ah! Give me that kill, give me that kill, give me that kill! Oh yes, I did it! All right, okay, let's try. ZL, ZL. Where's their base? Ah, no! Come on, give me that kill. How do I, how do I get in this? Ah, oh, get bad aim, get bad aim. I'll do it though. It seems that they've got that guy in the kind of middle and then they've got, um, oh, come on, right, give us a chance, give us a chance. Ah, no. I tried, I tried. Oh my god. God, that's a lot of the map actually is inked. That's pretty good. And we won! Oh, it's a great start. As I said, like, oh. Hey guys, sorry about that there. You probably saw it come up. Um, there was a slight communication error. Um, so as you can see, I still get the points it seems because I've got the Gherkin fangirl at the top right hand corner and that's six out of 10. So we won that one, we got 43% I think. It's just a shame about the uh, communication cutting and um, maybe it's something to do with the amount of people that are playing this Splatfest today, who knows. Okay, the fight's on. Let's get ready for this. We're hopefully gonna have no more communication errors. I don't want one. I wanna, you know, have a good video. Don't have to worry about anything, you know, any issues apart from being shot down. You know, that's the only issues I want. I love the colors. I love that we are, you know, for Team Gherk in, we're the color of like Gherkins, or kind of more like a, I guess like a <laughs> chemical Gherkin color, you know? Because gherkins that look like this, you know, oh, they're like the horrible ones you get in your burger that are really like soft and soggy. Oh, I hate them. See, the great thing about gherkins is you get this amazing kind of crunch with them. I mean, sometimes you get ones that are a bit too bitter. Um, I kind of like, you know, any of my pickled things quite sweet. Um, but sometimes they can be quite bitter, which isn't fun. Like this. There's this amazing um, burger restaurant. It's called Bread Meets Bread. Um, they've got three, I think, in Scotland. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, anyway, they've got three in Scotland. Um, they've got two in Glasgow. And that's the ones I've been to originally. And they've got um, one in Edinburgh. And now in Edinburgh, I go to this one quite often because I did go to the one in Glasgow a lot with my friend. We used to go quite a lot after college together. Um, but yeah, it's amazing and that place actually is a place that kind of got me into gherkins because I was a gherk out before I didn't like them, but now I'm completely gherkin um, I love you know them in burgers and just I think this place has really nice ones It's probably been once that I've ever like had um, you know, a proper bitter one and with my new kind of love of gherkins and all things pickled I've uh, tried like quite a few different pickled things like Japanese pickles <laughs> like Japanese pickles are quite nice um god this is PC but how do I you know say keep on saying pickles without it like, sounding you know not PC but yeah um basically I tried quite a lot a lot like when I was in Japan I tried you know you get that general pickled ginger and then oh and then I tried one that was like a ginger root, which is really interesting. I love ginger. This was amazing. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I think I've got pickled radish. You know, despite my intense love of love of pickled things. Um, oh right, let's get this. Let's get this. Oh no. Okay. I'll get that bomb one day. But yeah, despite my, you know, love. Of pickled things, I still will not eat sauerkraut. And my boyfriend's German, you know. 
but it's just what I've heard about it. It's because of the name it's sour as well. There's just too many reasons, you know, not to have it. But maybe one day I'll try it, you know. Maybe we could do this kind of like deal, like if team, if team Gerk in win and team Gerk out lose, like they should. Um, then what I'll do is I will have sauerkraut and I can let you guys know in a video what I thought of it. Oh that was good, oh my god. Was that maybe like 80% of the map? Ah, uh, sexy. I was getting really hopeful. It'd be pretty epic to get 80. But that was great. I did well, 21, um, 2,148. I was about to say 21,000. Imagine if I got that. Oh my god, I'd be like the best Splatoon player to ever, you know, play. The fight's on. Let's go. So it seems that with this uh, Splatfest, like, it is only my second one, so I'm still learning a few things. But you know how it goes up in levels, so you start as like a fanboy or a fangirl and then I think it's like defender, I think the top's champion, I think. With the um, comedy versus action, I got to like action defender I think and then I remember it being like half one when I finished recording and I was like I wish I could have went on more but I'm so tired. So you know this one, I'm, I've started recording it fairly early, I mean it's only like six o'clock right now. Um, so you know, maybe I can get to a champion. That'd be a pretty long video for you guys. <laughs> but I was surprised. I thought maybe, you know, with Nintendo and their endless puns like Gherkin and Gherkout, they'd uh, change it to like something else, you know. Ah! At least I got one kill there. I don't know what they'd change it to. If anyone's good at puns, you could come up with something pretty good, like based on like the levels or something. Yeah, we're back to this chemical uh, pickle gherkin colour. Do you guys, like, I, I always think about this. Like, in the UK, I've heard people say gherkin, but, you know, most of the time, or, like, when I go to burger restaurants now or stuff, you know, most people say, oh no, give us that kill, give us that kill. Most people say, oh, most people say uh, pickle. And I don't know, is it? Is this is adapting like American, you know, like ways. Like, so my boyfriend's German, and although they have their own German word for it, he says Gherkin. Um, you know, and I actually, <laughs> a little fun fact about this that's gonna make me sound so stupid, oh my god, is that when it was announced, I said to him, like, oh, what's a Gherkin? Because for so long, I'd been using um, pickles, you know. And I, I sort of had an idea because of like, you know, the picture that Nintendo was shown as like with obviously pickles slash gherkins on a burger. But um, let's have a wee look where I can go. Right, okay, we can. Um, but yeah, I did say to him like, oh, you know, I don't know if I like gherkins, but I like pickles. <laughs> so yeah, it sounded like an idiot. Um, oh, right, give me. Oh, I tried, I tried. I wish there was a way to get up there somehow, but it looks pretty good right now. We're winning. Um, if we can just keep it up. Oh, he must have a really powerful gun because I think I was hitting him before he was hitting me. Yeah, it'd be good to, you know, try and get a better gun than I could do Team Gerk in proud. So, you guys, what do you like? If you like gherkins anyway, you know, what's it about gherkins you love? Like, I, I, you know, like them because I find them quite fresh in burgers or a little bit of flavour um, that adds, but it, but it doesn't like assault the taste buds kind of thing. So, I find them actually better than having like sauce and things. You know, what do you guys like most about them? Or if you hate them, what do you hate? Do you hate the soggy ones or do you hate the vinegary taste? I'd like to find out why. It's kind of interesting. Maybe we can have a debate on, you know, gherkins or pickles.
Oh, it seems like we're fighting with other Gherk and people. But I was having a look at that team. Maybe I'll, I'll watch it back in the video, but it seemed like a lot of them were defenders. So I'm a fiend right now. So they're uh, level above me. Yeah, so it must go Gherk and fanboy girl to fiend to defender. Oh, we're not, we're not chemical Gherk in colour anymore. Oh, I guess we're sort of... I don't know, I'm looking at my boyfriend as I say this. Sort of sour kraut colour, I guess? Nah, shaking his head. Shaking his head. He's saying stupid non-German. Ah, he says sour kraut's white. I don't know what kind of sour kraut I was looking at. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> you could hear that gasp like, oh no. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I was today. I was super excited to play um, my next. Um, oh god, they've got a really strong team. They must be all defenders. But I was really excited to play um, my next um, Splatfest. I actually had a Japanese lesson today, uh, the day before, um, yesterday. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said the day before. Um, I went to in Edinburgh right now. There's the Japanese film festival on so I went to see that and that was so fun. I love the Japanese Film Fest. Um, the first time I went I saw really, I wouldn't have been weird, it was just like it wasn't a great movie. Um, you know it'd be great if they showed like Ghibli and stuff. Um, they, they might do, they probably do, um, but you know the times that I've went I've not seen that. Um, but they were doing, a, and I, I can't remember what it's called in Japanese, but it's like I think it's dare mo so nobody motte is it motte de or something basically the English translation is there's no one to look after me or something like that and basically it's quite an interesting concept for you know movies and I was quite amazed that the uh, the consulate would actually show this because these these are all like the film fest is um oh god we are being yeah look at that we are being destroyed um but yeah the consulate organizes all these movies and all these events and um, so i was pretty amazed because i thought like the year before they'd try and keep it to a fairly kind of um you know friendly happy live oh my god there's actually no point and a lot of, there's none of my teammates that are outside the map so you know it feels like we're all trying to get out and then we're just being killed but yeah the consulate you know I was thinking oh maybe they'll put on you know something kind of um you know <sighs> happy and cheesy kind of thing but they didn't actually they put on you know a pretty you know hard hitting drama it was it was really good actually um I really liked it and I was happy I went but I left at like six o'clock and there was like a sort of small lecture I read it before um, and I didn't get home till oh, I think it was like 10 o'clock or something and I was so so tired and I was worried that would affect my Splatfest performance maybe it has because I think we've lost twice now <laughs> but you know it was, it was okay when I woke up So we're against Team Gherkin again, which is slightly worrying because the uh, game we just had before was against Team Gherkin. See, it's worrying and it's a good thing because they were so good, they just like, we could not get out our base like longer than 10 seconds because we'd just be killed instantly. Um, so it was making me think, oh, you know, maybe Team Gherkin is absolutely ruining uh, Team Gherk out, as they should be for not liking Gherkins. Don't know if that's a bit of a totalitarian view on Gherkins. I'm just passionate about it. But yeah, anyway, that Japanese movie, um, if I can remember the name, I will say it, but the English translation is um, uh, No One to Watch Over Me. And it's very interesting. It's about basically a cop who looks after. Oh, oops. <laughs> I just literally walked into the firing line of three bombs. But uh, yeah, it's about a cop that basically looks after 
um, a girl whose brother has been arrested for murder. And even though it's only sort of, oh, got a teammate shouting on us. Even though it's only sort of implied that the the boy has been done for murder, the main story is kind of not exactly focused on him and whether he's guilty or not. It's more, oh, seems we'll never get in their base. The main story is uh, focusing on kind of like the backlash um, of what the families in Japan um, kind of receive um, when like a loved one or something or like a family member has been, um, you know, arrested or under suspicion for like, a, you know, a serious crime. And it's really interesting actually because I never thought of this, you know, maybe I don't know enough about Japanese society, but it never, I never thought that it'd be like that. Um, especially because, you know, as a lot of people know, Japan's crime rate is very, very low. Um, so I was surprised to hear that, you know, it was really bad. It was almost like, you know, the papers, or like the Daily Mail in the UK and the Sun, it became like a witch hunt. You know, and basically this movie focuses on sister who's totally innocent um, and the backlash she's receiving is focuses on suicides as well actually, which I was really surprised about um, because before the movie uh, the people from the concert were saying, um, you know, it should be noted that they are, there are some um, sensitive themes in the movie etc. Um, you know, and I thought, oh it won't be, you know, nothing that serious. Oh, first kill, first kill. Oh, second kill. Right, let's head to my team this way. But yeah, it was it was great. I really, like, if you love just crime dramas or anything like that, I would really suggest that you do watch it. Um, it's a great movie. It was amazing, actually. Um, I think it's maybe made in, like, the 90s. It's got, really, it's got a really good cast, actually. It's not got any of, like, the famous Japanese actors that you really see in like American movies um, but it's very good you know if you're interested in Japanese films or just you know if you're interested in good films you should give it a watch the English name is nobody to watch over me or look out for me I think it's watch over me So we lost the past two ones. I'd really like to win, <laughs> win one actually. I would really want to win a Splatfest um, because it's one of the guys, I can't remember what his name is. He's in the original Splatoon um, you know, series like you can buy gear off him. Gear as in like, <laughs> not drugs, but <laughs> gear as in like your, um, you know, like your t-shirts and stuff like that, your shoes, etc. Um, so you can buy your Splat t-shirt off of him, your Splatfest one, so it'll be quite good to, you know, you know, when get some specials in the Splatfest, um, and then buy that t-shirt, it'll be like a nice little memory. Because we lost my first one, which is a bit sad, I really wanted to win it. Oh. But yeah, as I've said, like based on like fighting the other team Gherkins, you know, I feel almost quite assured at like how we're doing. You know, I just said that and I jumped down into like a huge bit that wasn't painted. I think it's because I used the roller for so long that I'm kinda like, if I see anything that's not painted, a part of me is like, oh my god, you know, how do we expect to win? Okay, at least they're dead though, so we got our teammate to do that. So we've had to have a few... Is it AK players? Just inactive players, which is so annoying. Like, you wouldn't think it would happen in Splatfest. It probably does happen in some some of them, but like... See the last Splatfest I played? That was the worldwide one, and as I've said, this is only the European one. Maybe Europeans have bad manners when it comes to... Oh no!
when it comes to <laughs> AK who knows is it AK am I just saying like words now who knows that's what kind of happened in my old video like you know I started like, saying all the wrong things and it was oh it was just a mess okay A sniper which is good though so they're kind of leading the way for us to get to their base see how far we can get it'd be good if we can get right up there come on get us right up there get us right up there oh. i always feel so evil when i get to people's base i'm just like oh i see all that nice paint mark you just did let me fix that for you mess spot <laughs> so, oh, oh. <laughs> and then they follow you and you're like oh my god what Come on, let me paint, let me paint. Oh, I don't know how he did. I didn't check the map, but I'm feeling, mm, I'm not feeling confident now. I was about to say I am. Ah, we won though. That's great, that's great. Okay, so we're sort of balancing out this winning, losing kind of thing. I think we've now got it equal. Just good, and I got about 900 of my own, then the 1,000 win bonus, so it's good. And we're gonna hopefully get to Defender soon. So I just saw there that someone on our team has got um, the Gherkin Queen level and although that is so great, you know, just to have someone who's that advanced into this now, it's also kind of made me like a bit like, oh god, will I ever get to the top level? Because I take it, obviously, King and Queen are higher than just a uh, champion. So I don't know, maybe I will. It'd be good to, but I don't know if I'll record it all just because, you know, it'll be the longest video ever. Uh oh. Right. Ah. Oh. See, I want to like defend and I want to like have cool like deaths in this. Or n not kill cool deaths, kill cool kills. <laughs> um, but I've got like the most basic weapon, you know. And yes, that is my fault for not playing Turf Wars, I know. But, you know. Oh, and I got a friend request. That's my first friend request I've got. Um, my boyfriend sometimes plays this and he's had a few friend requests. What I quite like is on the Switch, um, you can have different accounts and I really like that. I find it really useful because, like, you know, if, for instance, my boyfriend wants to play, like, Turf War or something, it doesn't affect, um, it doesn't affect, like, for instance, my account. Like, it doesn't, you know... Like, for instance, I'm like really wary about playing like Splatoon like away from the camera because, you know, if I'm trying to do like a series like I get into a certain level or something and I play away from the camera, obviously I'm going to go up in levels and that's going to like affect like my overall, that's going to affect like my overall you know like that's gonna affect my videos basically and I don't want it to affect that so with the different accounts it's quite good so my boyfriend can play and sometimes like if I'm not like fully into you know doing a video I can um, just do a bit of playing which is which is always really fun because you know like even though I love doing videos and stuff sometimes I just want to play and I don't want to have to worry about you know speaking really well or trying to be interesting <laughs> like I know this uh, this video I've talked about what Pickles, a Japanese movie I saw that was good. Um, I think that was it. <laughs> um, and a bit of like YouTube and stuff. Um, but you know like I'd like to just, I think we all kind of like to just play to wind down and even though I do and I find like this really good to wind down it's just sometimes you know we'll see just not having to edit a video afterwards like anyone who's edited a video will know how frustrating it can be how long it can take if anything goes wrong as well it's super miserable like I said all over my Twitter and I think I said it in my salmon run video that um my um that my um, audio was actually really bad um, and it took us I think six days when I say us I mean my boyfriend because my boyfriend's 
really really helpful and he helps me with all my videos and I'm not great with like sorting issues um, so it took us six days you know so see when you're not recording a video you can just play you don't worry about stuff like that um, yeah I don't know how we even got onto this but the good thing is we're nearly out of Gerk and Fiends and we're nearly at Defender and we've got an, um, an ability unlocked which is great I quite like this one. This is the, um, this is like the, in course from Splatoon 1, isn't it? Arowana Mall, which I think I ended up calling Marowana Wall in my first Splatoon 2 video. Whoops. Or actually it was my Slap House video, I ended up calling it Mar Mar Marowana Mall. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bit tired today. I have my uh, Japanese lesson. I have it usually every Saturday and um, I love it, it's really really fun but oh my god I was so tired after it and uh, we get introduced to like a new kind of form that I found so difficult you guys it's um, you know if any of you study Japanese or if you speak Japanese you'll know it it's um, oh my god what is it see it was so traumatic for me just struggling to understand this sort of thing because the translation to English it's a bit difficult, you know, maybe it's so traumatic that I just completely forgot about it. I forgot the name that I can't even talk about it now. Oh, my oh dear. It seems like Team Gerkite's gonna win this one and they really shouldn't, but look at that map. But yeah, I had my class and, um, Joe, I got the library, um, because I study in the library. I got there pretty early, um, you know, like, I think, oh. I think it was maybe like an hour early. I'm looking at my boyfriend again to be like, is that true? Oh, didn't know you could get here. It's pretty useful. Be good if you had a sniper, eh? Um, but uh, yeah, I got there pretty early and I ran into... Oh, uh, why? <laughs> I ran into my teacher and uh, one of her other kind of pupils before and um, we're all just kind of talking um, and I went um, downstairs after just while they were having their lesson and um, I was studying and I studied like in the library for maybe like an hour but I'd studied I'd say like four or five hours before I think and I was having my boyfriend help me and oh I went in and it was just oh my god it was a riot like <laughs> couldn't remember kanji like everyone complains about kanji I think you know, maybe if you're Chinese you might be lucky and have, you know, some of the same kanji and stuff, but obviously there's no equivalent in English, so... Right, come on, give us that kill. Let's kill it, run it, Angston. Yeah, do you know what? I'm not gonna even presume. I can't be bothered. You know, we are struggling so hard to win anyway. Um, we've definitely lost. Look at that. It's always a bit depressing when you're looking at a roller in a map when you're like respawning and how quick they go. And you're like, oh, and I've got a gun. Right, give me that kill. Lisa killed him and he had pretty good gun. He had a pretty good gun. <laughs> Yep, that's a definite loss. And sadly, we're now back to the kind of, you know, like, equal ground that we've lost as many times as we've won, which isn't, it's not great. But I think, I think anyway, we've got enough points to get to Gherkin Defender. And as you see, we just have, which is great. Hopefully, um, I don't want to make this video too long. Hopefully, we can get to the next level because we only got to defend our last time for team action. So yeah, I want to get to the next level. Okay, the fight's on. We need to do this. You know, we can't let Team Gherk out win. They're children. They're complete children, okay? If you don't like Gherkins, you are a child. I'm sorry about it. Be triggered. Dislike this video. But Gherkins are the best. They add crunch. They add a little bit of flavour. So we have to win. And now they've only got three players. So if we perform well, you know, hopefully we can win this. I'm super paranoid about this and now, so I'm like, is everything painted? 
I didn't actually check the levels of the other people. I'll have a look in the video and we can see, you know. Maybe it'll be awkward. I'll be talking about like winning and stuff and they've got like queens and stuff like this. Now, I'm a bit wary about the painting. I don't know if it's boring, but yeah, look at that. So I'm kind of at the left and a lot of it's not painted. So I'm going to be really boring and I'm going to go back. We just want to win this one, you know? It'd be good to get a win. I think it's along here. I'll try and do it as quick as I can though, to not be boring. <laughs> to not be boring, but to still, you know, get some... Get a win. I want a win. I keep on taking the L. I don't want to take the L. But yeah, I was at my class today and yeah, just no matter what I did, I oh, got in. Kanji didn't do great and then this new form, oh my god. I've got a week to practice it and what I've done now is I've signed up to like a study group um, so that means we go there and we all speak in Japanese together and it's great but the other people who go you know they're actually really really nice but they're so good at Japanese and I'm just like oh and there's a girl who you know studies so hard and she, she has amazing at Japanese um, and I was thinking god I want to be like you you know, I want to be able to speak that good and I just generally want to be able to study properly. Um, so I'm hoping going to this place will kind of help me. It's only two hours, which is pretty good. So two hours a week and you're speaking to, you know, there's Japanese people, they're native Japanese. So um, yeah, you should be able to learn um, pretty quickly. Because right now I'm a stuttering mess in Japanese. I think everyone who, you know, studies a language um, can sympathise that you're like, oh god, you know, a wee bit nervous maybe to speak or something like that. Um, and that you kind of see yourself as speaking quite badly. So that's kind of good, like, I feel comfortable. And there's actually someone there who's the same level as me. Um, so I'm like, oh my god, thank god. <laughs> I can, like, you know be with them and like don't have to worry like obviously I'm gonna try and progress and stuff but I'm a little bit shy like I know a lot of people are like it but I get nervous speaking to people in Japanese and um, to new people especially you know people who I know um, I'm okay about it but I get really nervous in Japanese which is strange because in English I'm quite lucky not to get nervous um, in Japanese I'm just so scared if it's not like really formal stuff like asking about trains or you know stuff like that um I'm just like a starting mess and uh, you know I just go like Eto, eh, okaranai, you know it's stuff like that constantly and it's so bad I sound so dumb Okay, so we're back, I think. Are we now equal or are we like one above? Like, you know, like have we got an extra win? I'm not sure, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. I was looking at our team. I think we've got like a fiend and we've got two, is it champions? Is it? Oh, I don't know. But I'm feeling good. But I'm already like wanting a change of course. I'm like, ah. I really love Mori Towers. You know, that really long one where you're you know, it's like a tower block. Oh, it's just great. It's so good in the roller. And it's like really like aesthetically pleasing as well. Especially with the roller. Because if you, you know, can I get your distance right? You can basically paint. Oh, no. Cornered. You can basically paint, um, you know, the full bit down. And it's, it's great. Like it uses so much your ink, but it's just worth it. And you've got cool jumps as well. The best is like, you know, where you do a jump and you do like a mid-air kill. Ugh. You know, usually most of the time it's you being shot from mid-air, but see when you're the one falling mid-air and doing the kill, you're like, oh God, yes, I'm a professional gamer. So yeah, last night, you know, I had my Japanese film, then I came back home and oh, I was so sleepy. And then, um, I don't know if any of you guys like it, but I love, 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 love Drag Race. Oh my god, it is an addiction. And I watch that. Um, they don't have it in the UK, sadly. And it's, you know, there's none of the All Stars on Netflix. Um, so 
I've been uh, watching it uh, live um, and I've been loving it. It's just so good. You know, I'm not going to spoil anything, um, but I was a bit, you know, upset at kind of who left. Like, I know they've not been great, but I do like them. The problem is with this season, there's a lot of queens that I do really like. You know, I'm struggling between thinking, you know, do I want Bendela Creme to win or Trixie? Like, I was a huge fan of the Trixie and Katia show. Um, or, well, it was more um, un, or un, that I was more a fan of. Um, <laughs> I can't watch the Trixie and Katia show at all. Um, but I did really like um, them, so, you know, I was really wanting Trixie to win because she didn't do great in her season at all. Like, I don't think she won a single challenge. Um, so I really did want her to, you know, win. Um, or, sorry, I really do want her to win. Um, however, you know, I'm not sure. Let's have a look at this map. Ah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure because Bedla Creme is just incredible. Um, you know, I'm actually quite liking Shangela. I wasn't huge in Shangela in her own season, but, you know, like, in this season, I'm really liking... Oh. In this season, I'm actually really quite liking her. I really like Kennedy Davenport as well. And Asha, you know, don't get me, guys, but I was a Valentina fan. Like, I loved her. Valentina all the way. Not even Valentina. It's Valentina. I just loved it. Um, so I wasn't huge on Asha, um, but I'm just loving, like, everything she's producing. Like, she's really grown as well. And I really like her, like, type of drag. It's kind of like the anime mix slash kind of... I guess it's not high fashion, but it's a really interesting like street fashion. You can see the Japan stuff in that and loads of others. So I'm loving that and oh my god, last night's episode, she just like slayed it. She was amazing on that runway. It's great. I just really want to continue to talk about, you know, Drag Race with you guys because like I've got a few friends who watch it. But there's not really anyone who, like, I get to talk about all these episodes with. Like, I usually just go on Twitter and read what everyone's saying. So, like, if you love Drag Race, like, we should definitely, you know, like, I was going to say we should definitely talk, but then how do we talk? But you should, like, post what you're thinking of, like, the season or, like, who's your favourite or who do you think should win? Or, like, who do you think should leave? Because, you know, each week I'm really struggling. And as well with, like, you know, the mess that was All Stars 2. You know, it's just trying to think like, how do you be fair? But it's still a game, you know? You know, you can't expect people to be like, yeah, here, have my 10,000. Here, have this like stuff I've worked for for years. You know, it's difficult. Like, you know, I'm sort of talking about Bendela Krem. Um, like, I really like her and I love that she's fair, but I'm kind of thinking like, poor Morgan McMichaels, you know, she was just being, you know, real about it. Granted, I think the problem is <laughs> she kind of said it in a way that seems super bitchy and she has got this kind of like, I don't know, I think maybe after watching season two people maybe saw her as a bit bitchy. Um, I love the season two queens. I think season two is probably my favourite. Um, I love Tatiana, robbed on all stars. Um, I actually really like Tyra. <laughs> you know, when I've watched it back, I love it. Um, one of my favourites definitely though is um, Raven and Jujube. Um I really like Pandora Box. Um, you know, like I feel like with each episode I was upset at who left because there was just so many that I saw that I was like, you know, that I, I feel like when you watch season two you saw so much talent. And you do see that every season, but you know, with season two, I was like, oh God, I really like them all. Although when I watched it for the first time, I was like, oh God, I hate Tyra, you know? And then I had that Tatiana speech. Um, but yeah, I just, I love it. I wish there was more season two Queens and All-Stars, you know, because we had Tatiana um, in All-Stars 2 and, um, you know, this one, we've just had Morgan and I'd like to see more of them. I'm actually quite happy with Vivi Sahara though. You know, I feel like she does deserve to be here. Like I've read some of the conspiracies, which are really good um, for Bibi. Um, and I'm loving that. Um, I just want to know what happens, you know, cause there's that like, sorry if you've not watched it, but there's that like Chad in Alaska, you know, thing that's going on. Um, 
you know, so I think there's something up with BB. But I like that I'm getting to see her because I've not seen season one, you know. Any fans of Drag Race will probably say, oh, you're not a true fan of Drag Race, but hey ho. Um, you know, it's not on Netflix, it's really difficult to find online. Don't start. Um, but yeah, I just. I'm loving her. I love her talent and everything like that. It's making me think, like, because she's constantly safe, you know? If she's a winner, she shouldn't be. So it's making me think, is there something up with BB? I'm just loving All Stars 3. All these twists, all these queens. Oh, it's so good. I'm living for it. See, talking about All Stars didn't even make me, like, depressed at all that we just lost. I would like to win though. <laughs> um, we're back to this one, just really good. So let's try and get one of those like, I don't know, bomb machines thing. No, that'll be pretty good. So we'll try that. Oh, they've got someone for a roller. Okay, no one seems to be going. Let's do this, let's do this. ZL. Ah, that's, I always end up pressing. Ah, how do I? Oh. It seems like, I don't know, is it me or have you got to like, um. <laughs> this doesn't seem very fun, but yeah, I'm wondering, have you got to like, ink up before or? Oh, come on, I'd love a kill through this, that'd be epic. Alright, let's, come on, let's try this. It'd be good if one of my team can get that one. Oh my god! Die! Die! <laughs> god, I'm sorry. It seems so boring. It's just, it was, in all the other games I've played, it's been, like, these bomb things have been, like, really useful. So I don't know. I wish they had, like, a bigger effect. Like, I know that if you get hit by one, it is gonna, like, affect you, but... I don't know, maybe I've got really bad aim. You, you guys have seen my videos, you know, and uh, you know, you guys know I've not got the best aim. Doesn't seem to shoot very far as well. I guess one in the middle is the one you need. I'll try and go up and higher a bit. See what that does. Oh yeah, okay. Die cloud. Rain, rain, go away. Come again up, sunny day. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm running out of ink. Is this a boring one for you guys? I just really wanted to try this bomb and see what it's like. And it does look like we might win. Just keeping a wee eye out for like anyone planning to sneak up in me. Oh. So it seems when you're in the bomb, you've got to keep. If we do that. You've got to keep. Uh, ZL, which is what you press to get in, held. So let's see if I don't press it. I can jump out. Oh! Oh no! What, seven seconds? Come on! Come on! Ah, I don't know. Oh, that was pretty good, yeah. I think we've definitely won that, you can tell. I wonder what the points have been like for the bomb. I wasn't actually looking at like how many like points I was scoring for it, but it'd be good if we get quite a lot. Ah, it's not great, it's 700. But you do get, if you paint 400 something, you get two points. Yeah, 400p inked, you get two points. That's six in total, which is pretty good. Maybe we'll finally get to Gherkin Queen. It's a bit of a sad title for a queen, isn't it? Gherkin Queen. 
Makes me think that you're a really smelly queen or you love vinegar or something. Or you're just actually a gherkin. Oh, I really want a roller. It's not like fire mode. I really want a... <laughs> yeah. I need to maybe stop talking about Drag Race because I don't know how many people watch it if you watch my videos but it's, oh, it's great. If you don't watch it, you should watch it. It's great. It's got, you know, everything you should probably like. It's got comedy. It's got, you know, some sort of, ugh. It's got some sort of drama. It's got, you know, quite a lot. It's good. So I'm actually thinking my friend, um, my lovely friend Jonathan, who I've done a video with, and that was the um, Angry Scottish Sniper? Yep, Sniper I think. Um, we did, uh, he was really lovely to me and for my birthday he got me, um, for my birthday he got me Ellie Noir. So I'm thinking about you know playing that and kind of doing it with you guys. but. Someone in my work, I was talking to them, they've played Ellie Noir, um, and they said to me that they had to cheat because they kept on, um, you know, like answering the questions wrong or asking the wrong questions kind of thing, and then they were just getting lost because it is like a detective game, from what I've heard of it anyway, I'm not too sure. I think Jonathan got it for me because, you know, I am like playing just Splatoon and Mario. Um, but yeah, like, apparently it's supposed to be quite hard, something I want to like. I don't know, like I don't want to cheat or anything, but do I want to like play it before for a little bit and see how I do? Um, because it's like slightly. I'm just. Oh. oh my god, it's that guy again! Oh, and he's took a huge amount of our map. Yep, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way and see if I can try and take him out. looking okay but yeah um I'm worried like should I play a little bit before see how I do and then obviously like redo it um you know for the channel like would you guys be interested in seeing Eleanor because like you know right now my channel is kind of focusing on one sort of type of game like Splatoon and Mario kind of thing so would it be good to open it up to other kind of genres of games like more serious games I guess because I think this one's about the Black Delilah murder is it which you know as you probably all know anyway it's you know a true like murder kind of thing unsolved I think is it I don't know um but you know would you guys like to see that kind of thing or just, would you just like me to keep it to nice like PC splatting kills see they're not even exactly PC because oh I hate that guy they're not even PC because I think I've swore already in this I've not went full out angry, but I've went, um, sort of angry. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys would like to see something like Elo and Ellie Noir or something like that, you know, you can let me know. I've also got Sonic Forces and Rayman, oh, it's Rayman something. I'm trying to look at where it is. I've got, like, all my games together and it's, like, in front of me, but it's a bit far away, um, so I can't actually see. But if you guys would like to see anything, you should let me know, you know, and then... Um, you know, I'll maybe do them, but I, um, I'd like to know, you know, because it'd be nice to get some feedback from like viewers and stuff. So as you guys saw, we're at 32 out of 50. Once we get to 50, we obviously get to the next level. And I think that's a champion! Oh my god! So I think we've actually hit higher than I, the level I was when I was, well it's the same level but like I doubt I got close to being a champion when I was on the action team, um, which is weird because with the action team as I said like earlier on in this video, I feel like I did probably my best in that or I felt like I did really good in it. So I don't know, maybe I'm gonna throw like bombs for a bit. Ah! That guy had the exact same thought thought as me. <laughs> okay. Oh 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 oh. Shit. Oh, there we go. There's the 
not PC anymore. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Ah, I tried. I don't know what, where my team is. Ah, they're kind of all like together. But there's only one of them left. And we're all dead. Oh no. And it's I'm the first one out. Oh, not going to be a good leader, I'm afraid, team. I'm going to go up. I'm going to be a coward. I'm going to go this way. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw a few bombs. Oh, low ink. I take it you have to get across that line with that, with the bombs and it uh, across that line with the ink to get the bombs. Draw. I wanna. A part of me wants to look at the map to see how we're doing, but I feel like it's gonna be really depressing because just based on how that team is, I don't think we're winning. <laughs> Okay. Ah, oh, no, no! Oh, I tried. It was sort of a mid-air mid kill there. That guy got me as I was just about to try and fall down the vents. Oh, oh god, why did I look at the map? That was horrible! Oh no! Oh, maybe I'll never ever get to Gherkin Champion. I want to be Gherkin Champion. If I can't be Gherkin Queen, I at least want to be Champion. Ugh. <laughs> See, that's the thing, like, if you don't like gherkins, I get that, but you have to be honest, gherk in and the way they put the pun in that just sounds so much cooler than gherk out. Like, gherk out champion, gherk out fiend or king or queen, it doesn't sound great. Ah, thankfully my teammates took out that Thomas guy, it was just too difficult to kill. If you're watching this, Thomas, I hate you, Um, you know, you're making it impossible for us to get out of our base, thanks for that, and now you've given us loads of bombs, again, appreciate it. Ah, oh, I hate you, Tessie Jilly, July, Tiki Jilly, July. What is that name? Anyway, I hate you. <laughs> oh my god, that was so bad. And I didn't even properly get to the base. It's not great. Slowly getting there, we're like crawling to um, champion right now. Okay, here we go. Back in this course. Should I go for the bomb, you guys? I don't know. Do what I'll do. I'll paint a little bit and then I'll see what the rest of my team's doing if anyone's to the bomb. The most important one is the one in the middle. Um, definitely. Is anyone... Ah, yep, someone's got that one, so it's cool. Ah, yep, they're just getting... So... Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh no! I had the opportunity, but I did that thing. I think I like slid over it. Oh, it's annoying. Ah, and this one's been abandoned, so I'm gonna try. Come on, die. Ah, oh, who had that power? Hate you, Nova. <laughs> And my teammates took that one since so I did such an awful job. They're like, okay, I'll take it back. So yeah, we're just gonna, oh no. Bye, stop it, not today. Oh, that was Nova! I just wanted to kill Nova! Ah. The frustration's becoming real. This is gonna be, you know, angry splatoon, angry Scottish splatoon gamer thing, number two. <laughs> oh, oh my god, and they've all got really good power ups. And what have I got? Like the basic. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce your name, but I hate you! Right, okay, do you know what? I'm just gonna go for this and we're just gonna bomb them because I'm sick of this. I don't know where my team is or slightly worried about. Oh. Slightly worried about that. Just for my nerves, I'm just gonna like. Do you know what? You stupid 
touch. Oh, 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 oh. I hit you! <laughs> That's Nova again. Oh my god. <laughs> right, okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have to. How do I hit them? Okay, okay, okay. Is that someone like coming for me? Okay, there is someone near, but in order to maybe. Oh, how do I do this? In order to maybe try and save the game. Oh my god, give me that kill. I, I think I got that kill. I think I got those two and then kill by Nova again. Casual. Thanks, Nova. I'd have respect for Nova for being a good killer if she liked Gherkins, but she doesn't like Gherkins, so she's a child. She's like, you know, a child assassin. What's that really famous movie? I can't remember. It's the one with um, Natalie Portman. It's a young, kind of like assassin, and she like befriends an old assassin. Oh, it's something, you know. That's what Nova is. Or that's what Nova could be if she liked Gherkins. Again, crawling to champion. We'll get there. We have to. We have to. Maybe for your guys' sake, I'll edit out like the really, really boring games. Me losing. So you'll think I'm an amazing Splatoon player. Oh my god, we don't have Nova. Thank god. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll win this one. Ah, and it's this one. We've not played the Reef for a while, so I'm pretty glad that we've got this. Hopefully we can maybe get the um, maps changed soon. I think we, is it every hour they change? Is it? I don't know. Should maybe have a wee look at that. I feel like it's on the hour they change, but maybe not every hour because that might be a wee bit mad. But if it is every hour, we should have a change soon. Right, where are you? Oh no, they get both of us. One of our teammates did get them though. That's good. Is that path you? Is it? Who knows? Okay, let's try this. Ah, oh, I really want to do a bomb. You know, since Splatoon 1, I didn't really use my, like, I used my specials and stuff, but I never really used a bomb. I think there's that kind of thing with a bomb that you have to have, like, over a certain amount of ink and that kind of, ugh, that's kind of annoying to it. Like, I get why they, why they do it and I get why they didn't change that for Splatoon 2, but ugh. Oh. Flat Ultra. Okay. Now, if we can keep this up by looking at the map, I'm just gonna try and like squid along whilst looking at the map. We should be cool. Just have to, you know, keep on top of it. I also kind of depends, like you know, in Splatoon, like and just any kind of like games like this, the last seconds do really matter. Like you can die completely in the last second, and it's super frustrating when it does happen. You can also completely lose a game in the last second as well. Like for instance, you'll be respawning and you can watch it and see what's going on. So see like right now, they're coming back and we need to take that out, we need to stop it. So what we're gonna do is try and, oh no, I wish I had a roller. <laughs> I know I'm getting really scoochy, it's just cause I'm getting frustrated. I don't want two points again, I want eight points, you know, cause I think, what is it, six? It's either six points or eight points, but I thought you got six points for like general win, and then like um, if you paint 400p, which I usually do every game, um, you get another two, so that takes you to eight. I don't know, maybe I'm. Oh my god, why? Maybe I'm becoming forgetful. Oh, come on, team. Come on, team. Please, please. Oh my god, we've got 10 seconds. What are we gonna do? 
Right, I'm gonna set loads of anger. That's what I'm doing. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Lost. <laughs> I think we've lost. I think we have. What do you think? I, I think we've lost. <gasps> but how? How though? Because they got quite a bit of a medal. Maybe it's ours was more consistent. I don't know. Oh. Okay, now we'll figure out if it's six or eight points we get. I'm hoping it's eight. Seven. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's neither. But it's good. We're getting there. I can't remember how many points I've now got to get to champion, but it shouldn't be too much. Okay, so as you can see, top left hand corner, seven points until we have to get until we get to champion. I really want to get to champion. Seven points, as we just found out, is what you get if you win one game and you obviously paint 400p, which I usually do anyway. So we can do this. We've just got to, just got to be good. I was kind of secretly hoping there that the team was going to have like, oh, I don't know, three players instead. Like it's such a pain if you're that team, but you know, it, it's always a benefit to see that when that's your like enemy team and you're like, oh yes. Try and get as much green as I can and take out kind of, um, try to take out, you know, the pinks and stuff like this. Hopefully it'll work. Pinks, purples, you know, it's up to you what colour you think it is. Just throw bombs. Oh! An effect of one. <laughs> it was in one of, I think it was like, was it one of my first couple games? I don't know. Um, I was playing this and, um, you know, we were all kind of standing at their base being like, oh, we've cornered them, we've cornered them, this is great. And then we all just looked at the map and then, well, I like to imagine, obviously I wasn't talking to anyone, but it's what I imagine happened. We looked at the map and thought, wait, how are they putting our base? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh my god, half the map's purple. Oh, see what I mean, guys? What I was talking about? You can easily take back the game in a couple seconds. Like, if you're a good team and you all spawn at kind of the same time and then you split up, you know, you can take this game back. And that is what they're doing, you know. I don't know where my team are at right now. Oh, no! I was basically facing them and I lost. It's getting a bit worrying. Hopefully if we can do this. As you can see there was just a little um, enemy team name with their with a cross through, which means they are dead. Um don't know what's going on. I thought he had the most powerful weapon, so I just let him, you know, take over. Oh, why? Oh! <laughs> they basically just stepped off a ledge and killed me. Okay, if we can, I'm just gonna swim away to this. If this stays the same, come on. <laughs> I was about to take a guy out with the map on, but I think we've got that. Yeah, I definitely got it. Oh my god, so do you guys know what that means? That means we're now at um, Gherkin Champion, I think. I think anyway, I hope it is. And that means that's the highest I've been so far in a Splatfest. Oh. Oh, woo! Gherkin Champion. We're going to get 99 though. Sorry guys, there was a slight communication error there, but I'm basically just gonna leave this video at what it is right now. 
um, you know, I've really enjoyed it so far and I've got to the highest level I've ever been so far. As you can see, top right hand corner, this is my badge of honour, I'm a Gherkin champion. Um, I might play a little bit non-recorded later, um, but I'm just a bit wary about how long this video is for you guys. Because I, I do want to show you that I got to Gherkin champion and that I can actually play Splatoon, but I don't want it to be too long. So I think I'm going to leave it to that. I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Um, you guys have been watching my other videos like comedy versus action, my Splatoon kind of other ones like Salmon Run, my introduction and stuff. I'm loving Splatoon too and I'm loving making videos for it and recording. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to finish this off. It's not going to be my last Splatfest, definitely not. I'm in love with it. I love the kind of little concert we're having. I love the square. I mean, just look at this and look at all the artwork up there you know it's great i love it so there is more that's coming but i want to say thank you so so much um for watching this video and being a fan of me i really really appreciate it i hope you have a great splatfest and i'll see you guys soon bye